protecting Kog'Maw, one yep. of the few junglers that does have another disengage. Ooh, Rumble gonna make his entrance a high damage team out of Royal Never Give Up. Fight for the Grump, Smite one by Peanut, Fight comes in, RNG is here, no sounds to be had, the knockup is over. But of all he goes, finds his body, slam explosive gas back into the squad, but look at that from Metal XG, the flag and drag perfectly buffered to get back to say no. Big assist coming through his mid lane. Ooh, big knockup there for Faker, now on a 1v2, pulls in the taunt, does not get the knockup, good shoot there. And here comes Peanut around the wings, they've got to be a bit careful, double body slam, a bit of a slow, and here comes Hero's entrance, wish! They walk away anyway. See the grand entrance be used, and that's why they feel like they can go on the front foot, try to contest the red buff here from Peanut. Good smite. Peanut actually doing a really good job with these smite fights. I think he's won every straight up duel that's been available to him. Sometimes it's been down, but otherwise a pretty good job. Barrel gets a bit more, and maybe looking for the play here. Faker has the taunt ready. This could be the first kill of the game. The knockups continue on. MLX goes for the knockup, and there are no more spells to land. A good Yes, the team is coming across. Huni gonna walk away. Realm Warp gets Xiaohu behind, and suddenly Huni in a 1v4. Landing's in a root press, in the silence, into the root. There's no way out just yet. The attack's still coming through. Huni has the flash, won't use it. Uzi finds kill number two of the game. It does delay the Hurricane, which is usually that big two item spike, and maybe important is. They're gonna find out Huni. Red buff slow's gonna make it nice. His flash already down from before his hop, you imagine, was, but. Okay, at least it's still Summoner's Burn. Nice play by RNG. But given that the Hurricane's mostly about taking down tanks, not as high value, he'll get it eventually. But I think going for the extra magic with this interest is probably smart. Here we go. Flash for the catch both in. Flash for two. That's a good trade. And RNG get mid lane. Teleport. Oh, very aggressively. Now jumping in, looking for the slow TP coming around the wings as well. This could be the fight. And looks to be back on the other side. He's going to find. A face and a faker. Head points getting dropped lower. Lower Tana back in, but Banks W on cool. That means he can't get the auto attacks. Peanut now rejoining. Could go for the cast. Is going to knock him right back in. MLXG gets him to the wall. The wish keeps him safe, and he is going to get away. Bang! Goes for the snipe. Not going to land it. A juke out of Jarvan. Wish is such a huge cooldown for this team, though, that SK Telecom are starting up the Baron. Deathly injured, Jarvan makes it hard to steal away. Uzi does have the ulti though. In comes the team and the flash to get away. They're so afraid of what Hootie can do to them. With the Meganar, Uzi on the wings, he plays with some space, but he gets shot down. The Kogma damage is there and the chase back in. Bang will not be felled. He will find more targets than Xiaohu to lose his life as well. Another one in for Hootie. That's four for nothing, SKT. The kite back was so big for SKT. Taking down Uzi with the winds of wall was the big factor. That's pretty non-interactive, Kobe. Nara is pushing, there's only been six kills in 28 minutes. But with the Baron buff, they're gonna start threatening the SKT. Top of the rise, they re-engage the backside. Do they have the explosive damage they need? The re-engage, but look at the AoE! Oh. Shredding everybody! And now Faker forced to run to the team. Suddenly in front of him, he's got nowhere to go! They've surrounded him, and Faker, without a flash, without a prayer, double kill for Uzi. When they needed the most, the spiciest of hot pots, laid down there with the Rumble Ultimate over all members of SKT. That took out almost half the team. And how MLG was able to buy that time on getting Vayne caught long enough. Well, here we go. They've got himself a little bit explosive cast by a few more seconds, and now they can find themselves Soraka Wish to buy a little bit more. They're gonna jump away. Redemption gets some more health as well. That is several ulties down, but not Uzi's. Twitch still has it. Exactly. And the flash from Uzi is blown, while Bang now on Kogma has his. Such a huge turning point in these team fights are whether the AD carry will live through the initial engagement. I wonder if Uzi just used ultimate to try to clear this wipe. No equalizer available. Got to respect a flash out of all the tanks, though. Huni can do it, so can Faker. Got to respect this. He's not going to go in just yet. Looking for backline access now. A slow, no, yet the spray and pray, and will be a disengage so far. SKT, the re engage, but he's tanky. It's not an easy kill to go for. And the flash guard is big, wants to do it. He channels it under Wu, and he gets the kill. Uzi's dead. And without a carry, this could be the game just now. The flash forward, they found the second, a double for the Kogma. We see it once again. You can't get away from that Kogma. Bang, flashes forward, and now SK Telecom inside the base, looking to push this one to a game five. And Faker recalls the heal up and TP back here for the next wave. It's all about wave for them for RNG in the 3v5, but here comes the Siege, looking for the turrets, looking to bring it to game number five. And five men strong, they look. There's the taunt, they're going for the kill. First in the Shao, who Hootie joins in as well, and he does not have a way out. Bang gets his third in a row. Now the turret left to fall. Faker gets number four, and there is no stopping them. Sirak is not going to heal a building. The stone will crumble. RNG will drop in game four. They continue to find a couple.
four kills for good measure. No minion wave here, so it's buying a little bit of time. Ming will die as well. This should be the win for SKT. No SKT fan would have said build around bang, but that's exactly what they did. And the Uzi 1v5 is not gonna matter. The Nexus falls SK!